couple of weeks ago, I was sent a question by a lovely guy called Peter and he asked me, hi Mike, does it happen with photography like with music that you could be a professional and or great photographer if you start at an early age? Does age matter when it comes to becoming an excellent photographer? Well, the thing is, how much do you want to become an excellent photographer? Is it something you want to do or is it something you're going to do? But what's the difference? Well, I've been running my photography business for a long time and many years ago I chose to turn my hobby, which was photography, into my income and that's a whole other story. But part of that was I wanted to be able to travel and to see some of the world, to sort of experience some of the amazing things that go on out there in the world. But it was always something I'd like to do. And time passed and the business started to grow and I was having a pretty good time and I didn't have to work terribly hard to cover my expenses and I could go and play on my motorbike, but it was always something I'd like to do. And then last year, something happened. My brilliant, awesome, inspiring, funny, witty and incredible mum died last September. And it was very devastating despite the fact I knew it was coming. But something in me changed then. I kind of realized how old I was. I kind of realized that, hey, you're in your 50s now and you've always wanted to go off and see some more of the world. But that's all it was, I wanted to. And when my mum died, it changed from I want to to I'm going to. You may have already seen there's some workshops starting to appear in other countries and many of you wonderful people have been inviting me to come and run workshops in your country. But it's because I got committed, I got dedicated to doing whatever it takes to make that happen. Now, whether that's in what sort of photos you want to take, do you want to take great, amazing pictures? Well, you need to become dedicated to doing it. And that means giving yourself the time. It means dedicating time to doing it. Not sort of saying, okay, I've watched all these, watched all these videos on YouTube that Mike does or that Serge does or that many of the other awesome photographers, photographers put out there into the world or going on courses. You have to become dedicated to giving yourself time to go and put into action the things that you've been taught about. Last year I was teaching at a local night school. I was just teaching uh, adult education to a bunch of people who were paying a fairly reasonable fee to come on a uh, photography course. And it was for the college. This wasn't me doing it at the college. This was, I was employed by the college to do it for a short time. But something which really amazed me was that I would give people some homework to do, which uh, was associated with the lesson that we'd just done. And then the following week, quite a large percentage of people would say, I didn't have time this week. Or I could see that they had sort of come home and they've maybe got half an hour before they jump in the car because they've got to go and they've sort of done the homework because Mike might grizzle at them. Well, I don't mind if they do the homework or not, and I don't mind if you guys do the homework or not. I don't mind what you do, so long as you're happy. But here's the key. If you want to take excellent photographs or maybe become a professional photographer, you've got to do the homework. You've got to put in the hours. You've got to dedicate some time to doing stuff. You have to get out there and practice and get experience. Now, when I say dedicate and, and put time into it, you know what time you can dedicate to it. I mean, when I dedicated time to becoming a professional photographer, I did it in a slightly unusual way, as in I went on income support, I told my local uh, uh, employment services office what I was doing because I didn't want any trouble. I wasn't gonna sort of like try and defraud anyone. And they were amazingly helpful. They actually gave me access to various courses and training. So I spent a year not working and every day I was reading books, I was practicing, I was going out there, I was taking pictures, wondering why it didn't work and then trying something else until eventually I got to a point where I could take pictures that people would pay me money for. And that was an amazing feeling. But it's within the dedication so whatever that may look like for you, now that could be maybe an hour a week, because I know normal people, they have jobs to go to every day, they have to pay their mortgage, they have to pay their rent, they have to pay their electricity bills and all that kind of stuff. They possibly got kids, now they're mega expensive things to own, aren't they? So you've got calls on your time already. But in order to get the experience that's needed for you to take the excellent photographs or to become a professional photographer, that's any of you guys, not just Peter, you do have to dedicate some of your time in order to do the exercises, to practice stuff, so that you get the experience. Because photography is experiential learning. 
Most things in life are. You have to experience it and get experience so that you know what to do in a given situation. Much as I would love to be able to sort of put my hand up here and go click and unplug knowledge and then insert it into your head for you, for a fee of course, then it would be awesome, but I can't do that. Wouldn't that be easy? I wouldn't have to webmaster the site. I wouldn't have to keep thinking up new ideas for films and shooting stuff and having poor old Lorna stand out in the cold and rain and all that kind of stuff while we're making films. The thing is, it's a dedication thing. So whatever that may be for you, I would suggest it's a case of go on a training course. And if you know you're going on a training course, book some time into the diary the next day so that you can go and practice whatever it was. Because if you put it off and think, oh, wait, we're going on holiday in a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks time, you've forgotten all about it. <clears throat> you'll have just kind of vanished in thin air like Scotch mist. If you watch a video on YouTube, one of my videos, make some notes maybe, go outside and then practice that and keep practicing that and dedicate time to it until you have your head around that particular technique or building block as I like to call them. There's a whole new course coming on that fairly soon. <clears throat> because that's where you are going to get the knowledge you need to be fulfilled as a photographer and become excellent and or professional. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified each time we upload one of our cool photography videos or for more great photo tips, workshops and training, come and see us at our website, photographycourses.biz.